The way people can communicate with their locked up loved ones is changing in Hamilton County. Jail administrators are eliminating face to face visitation, trying to reduce contraband, contraband and damage to corrections equipment. News Channel 9's Betsy Golden joins us now with more. Betsy. Well, Kevin and Latricia, new video visitation at the Hamilton County Jail begins tomorrow. But some people are asking, is going digital the best thing for all involved? Face-to-face -face visitation is a thing of the past at the Hamilton County Jail. Tomorrow, a new video visitation system will be operational. Visitors can use the video system from another room in the jail for free twice a week for 30 minutes, eliminating seeing their loved ones face-to-face -face through the glass. I really don't like it, um, especially because it's on a video. Uh, yeah, you get to see it from home, but... I would much rather, if I had somebody in there I was coming to see, I'd much rather see them face to face, not on a video. And a new option, visitors can see their loved ones from home, but this comes at a cost, $15 for 30 minutes. According to a report from the Prison Policy Initiative, the cost comes to friends and family who are least likely to be able to afford it or have access to a computer with a webcam and high-speed internet. Catoosa County adopted a video visitation system earlier this year, but residents there also have problems with the disconnect in the system. Video visitation is not really necessarily my favorite thing. Face to face is more interaction. You feel more heartfelt. Officers at Catoosa County Sheriff's Office say the video system has eliminated safety concerns since they no longer have to move inmates twice a week to the visiting area. Now inmates stay in their pod. And now face-to-face -face visitation will still be allowed for attorneys. Calvin? Thanks, Betsy.